Can I get the brown sugared salmon? Okay, so our dinner plates this evening are the braised bohemian beef or the brown sugared salmon. <laughs> yeah, I know. I want I want the brown sugared salmon plate with the with the potatoes and I don't I don't want mm, Brussels sprouts. I'm so sorry. We are out of that. The chef actually ran out of salmon because there was a trivial boat shortage at the lake. So, so. why did you mention it in the first place? Because that's our specials. Good day gang, welcome back to the Between Bread Show. Let's make a Tyler the Creator. One of Tyler's favorite foods is chicken and waffles from Roscoe's. So we're gonna start out by making a brine for our chicken. So in a bowl with some chicken, we're gonna add a teaspoon of salt, some freshly ground black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of dried oregano, a quarter of a teaspoon of sage, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. An optional pinch of MSG, a quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper, and then mixing our dry ingredients until combined, and then we're adding two and a half cups of buttermilk. Mixing well and ensuring all the chicken is submerged in the mixture, and then this is off to the fridge for at least six hours, preferably overnight. Now, moving on to our waffle batter. Into a bowl, we'll add two cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of kosher salt, four teaspoons of baking powder, two tablespoons of white sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one and a half cups of warm milk, and a third of a cup of melted butter, and two eggs. Mixing the wet and the dry until incorporated, and then this is off to the fridge to chill out with our chicken. At least six hours later, and it is time to get cooking. Starting off with another one of Tyler's favorites, and that is bacon. So onto a sheet tray it goes, and it's off to a 180C or 350F oven until crispy. Now we can move on to making our dry batter for our chicken. So into a bowl goes one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a healthy pinch of salt, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, and freshly ground black pepper. Now it is time to fry. So into a high-sided, heavy-bottomed pot, we'll add at least a third of its level, up to a half of the cooking oil of your choice. Once that has reached around 175 degrees Celsius, which is around 350 Fahrenheit, we'll go from our wet mixture to our dry mixture, shaking off excess and then dropping into the oil away from your body. Frying for 10 minutes, then turning the chicken to fry for another 10 to 15 minutes until the internal temperature reads 74 degrees Celsius or 165 degrees Fahrenheit. While our chicken fries, we can move on to making our brown sugar salmon. Into a pot, we'll add one tablespoon of brown sugar, a drizzle of honey, two teaspoons of butter, one tablespoon of seeded mustard, a pinch of salt and freshly ground black pepper, and a splash of soy sauce. Turn the heat to medium low and stir until the butter is melted and the brown sugar is incorporated. Then into an oven dish lined with foil, we'll add our salmon and cover in our brown sugar glaze, sauce, stuff, whatever it is. Then this is off to a 180 degrees C, 360F oven until the salmon is cooked to your preferred doneness. Lastly, it is time to cook our waffles. So grab your waffle iron. Mine is cheap and secondhand. Hopefully yours is better. Then on with a third of a cup of our batter, pressing down, locking off, leaving till cooked. And there you have it. With our waffles, chicken, bacon, and salmon all done, it is time for assembly. So onto a plate, we'll add one of our waffles shingling on our rashes of crispy bacon, our second waffle, more of our bacon, two pieces of our fried chicken, then drizzling maple syrup over the top of all of those. Now this is where I actually got a fail and I give myself an F minus for this because I couldn't see how the salmon worked so it got its separate plate, a little garnished for the thumbnail. Now. For between bread, I think I should have gone waffle, bacon, chicken, salmon, waffle, and then eaten it as a sandwich. All right. The old head, Tyler the Creator. Holy smokes, put some bacon on that. 
everything in a bite hot. Alright. Now I've got to try this brown sugar salmon. That's good. Does it belong with this? Absolutely not. No. It didn't it didn't even get the didn't even make it onto the same plate. Five. A five. Like really if the camera wasn't on, I would have had one bite of this and then just kept kept eating chicken. Really? Oh god.